Hello everyone, let's continue and understand few more important commands in this lecture. The next important command is MV, move command. So this command is basically used to move files and directories from one location to another location. In the last lecture, we have understand about copy command, that is CP command. The difference between both the command is that the copy command is basically used to copy file from one location to another location. And in copy command, it is not going to you know move the files from your source to destination. It will simply copy the content of file which is present at source and will you know put it in the destination, the same copy. The source copy will not be touched in the if you are using the CP command. But if you are using the move command, it will you know move the copy which you have mentioned while firing the command move from source to destination. So let me move, let me you know open my server and we'll show you how we can use this. So I'm in this location. So let me move to temp location and uh, I have few files. So let me create a directory. Directory is also there. You can see that there is one directory and uh, I'm going to create few files here. Touch one, two and three. So what will happen? Three files will be created named as one, two and three. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move file one and to this location that is in temp dir. So this is the location where we have. So the file has been moved. I'm in this location earlier the file one was there but if you will try to see you will see that the file one it is not showing here because it has been moved from this location to destination location and this is my destination location. If I am going there, I can see the file, one file because it was earlier it was in slash temp, now it has been moved from slash temp to slash temp dir. A step back, again I can see few more files are there, if you want I, you can move it to, to dir. Okay. There is one more thing we can do with the move command. You, we can use mv command to rename the file as well. Suppose you know there is a file 3. Okay. Or you can see there is a file test is here. I want to rename this file. How we can do that? I am in this location and uh, I want to rename this test. So first you have to put move your source file test and I want to you know rename it to like uh, John so this had been done now if I am giving ls7 ltr you can see that there is no such no test file is there it has been you know renamed to John so there are two you know benefit or you can say there are two use of mv command the first one is your we can move the file from source to destination another one is that if you want to rename your file at the same location you can use rename or okay so let's move to the next command the next command is cat command concatenate used to display files or concatenate files so basically cat command is used to you know if you want to see the content of any file you can see the content let me show with this suppose I am here and a lot of files are there if I want to you know view the content of any file I can simply use cat and test 1 2 3 so I can see the content whatever we have in the file you can see that this is another test file if you want to create a file using cat command that also you can do it how we can do it cat greater sign and you can give any file name like uh, Sam I am giving here so now it is asking what you want to put the content here now you have to type the content this is a test file of Sam. Enter and then you have to press Control D. That has been done. Now file Sam has been created here. You can see that Sam has been created now. If I want to see the content, I can see cat Sam. So we have understand the uses of cat. First is you can 
view the content of any file with the help of cat command and also if you want to create a file with cat command so this is the way for that so to use of cat command the next one is your rm command so if you want to remove your any file or directory the command is rm in simple word if you want to delete something suppose i am in this location and i want to delete my files suppose i want to delete this 3 3 is a file so simply i can use rm and 3 it is saying that it is asking just a confirmation like remove regular file empty file you want to say yes so it will remove the file now this file has been removed from your temp location so simple what i have done simple this command very simple command okay and when i was firing rm command it was asking a, you know confirmation but if you want that it should not ask for any confirmation then you can do rm hyphen rf or simple f forcefully it will delete the file like test one two three now it will not ask for any you know confirmation because you have mentioned this hyphen f so this is for the forcefully it will delete the file forcefully suppose you know there is one directory i want to delete this directory and I am here, if I am using this rmdir, it is showing that cannot remove this directory because this directory is having some content. Or there is one more command, rmdir, this dir. So I think you are confusing with dir. Let me create a directory, mkdir. And uh, any name you can give, I am giving Amit. So there is a directory which named as Amit okay and I'm going to delete this directory and in this directory there is nothing I've just created a directory and if you go to inside the directory there is nothing no files inside that no files in directory RM Amit it is showing that it is not allowing you to remove it you have to use RMDIR this is the command for that Amit so this directory has been removed now I'm going to create another directory MKDIR and uh, Nakhil I have created and what I'm going to do I'm going inside that directory I'm in this location and uh, I'm going to create few files into this directory touch I've created few files here So this directory is not empty. We have some content in this directory. Now I'm here. Now again I'm going to delete this directory. Now you can see that I have used RMDIR and it is saying that your directory is not empty. If your directory is not empty and if you want to remove it, you have to use few options for that. So RMDIR is a command which can be used to delete a directory which doesn't have any content inside that. If the directory is having some content, like if the directory is having few files, few subdirectories are there, then you have to use few option. It is still giving an error. If you do not have confirmation, like what should you do, you can use rmdir help as well. It will give you all the detail, what are the options we have. Now, how we can delete this directory, the directory which is having some content. So in that case, what you can do here, you can simply use rm hyphen r, r is for recursively, because that directory is having some content. So we want it should be deleted recursively, like first it will delete the content of all the files and directories that we have in that directory that is nickel, and then it will delete the directory nickel. So for that you have to use this command, rm hyphen rf, and the name of directory nickel now it will delete so there are few options we have if you have some confusion you can always use rm man and rm so it will give you all the details about that next is your rmdir so rmdir is basically to remove the empty directory that's why we were when we were trying to remove a directory which is having some content we were getting some error. So to remove a directory, we have rm or rmdir command. So friend, that's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to understand few more important commands. So thanks for watching. And if you have time, please join with me in the next lecture.